Hello friends and comrades, it's me, a curiosity in a tent, and welcome to Ostriv. So this is another brand new city builder, it is very much in early access, it is a one-man project, and from what I've seen, it looks really interesting, so I can't wait to try it out. Today, we're going to be looking at the first 20 minutes of the game to get a first impression. I already really like the look of the menu, the pattern, the illustration, it's already evoking everything I wanted to evoke, and it's a vibe we don't really see in a lot of games, so I'm really looking forward to that. So, let's go ahead and start a brand new game. Okay, so it looks like we have a couple different maps we can choose from. And I love a little island in the middle of a river, so we're gonna go with level 06. Okay, so here we are. Um, kind of looks like this is where we should be starting. It looks like it's in the middle, and it's a nice little bend. Um, I think that's a really cool place for a village. So we have a little thing telling us what to do in the top left. And presumably this is a button that we click. Yep. All right, cool. Um, so I don't know if we need to put it next to the water. Okay, so we can't actually build it in the water. Oh, I see. Okay, these, these people were just beamed down. Whoa, the camera is very sensitive. Okay, okay, okay. Stop moving the camera so much. Okay, cool. Uh, so these are our people. Oh, they've all got like names and faces and stuff. Okay, so that's really cool. Bozko. Um, cool. Alright. Archipinko. Cool. Um, right. So, okay, we have a new quest thingy. And... Oh, look at all these things that have... Whoa! That's a lot of decoration. Okay, so some things are still a work in progress, but presumably, okay, so we need to build a forestry, so presumably that's going to be under production. Whoa, okay. I did not expect this many production buildings, just because um, it's, it's like, it's, it's very early access, but this is a lot of buildings. Like, I don't remember Foundation having that many. Wait, what do I use to rotate? T and R, okay. Um, foundation having this many buildings at the very start. And Foundation was built by, like, a studio of people. By... Okay, plus does not speed the game up. How do I speed up the game? I looked at the key bindings before. Okay, one, two, three. Cool. So we're gonna just press two. Um, yeah, like, Foundation has a studio working on it and a publisher. And, I mean, obviously the game looks very different and this is, is very different. But just, like, the sheer number of buildings... Um, it's quite impressive already. I, I like that. Uh, do we need to do anything else? It, it isn't telling us to do something else. I'm kind of scared that if we do something else when it's this early access that you can like get yourself into like, oh, you've used your, your resources and now you're out. So let's just follow the instructions. I'm gonna speed it up again. And we can just watch them work. But yeah, I really like, um, I like this. Okay, so we, we can see that the year that this is set in is 1721. And I don't know if this is just like, uh, historically inspired or if this is actually meant to be very historically accurate as it were. I don't, I don't actually know if it's set in Ukraine or if it's like generic Slavic setting, but it gives me very much those vibes. I know that the person who made it is Ukrainian. I think. Please don't be mad at me if you're not. Okay, so build houses and create a clay pit to dig clay. What was that that I saw here? Oh, look at that. The fences, they kind of stick together. Um, so presumably... Okay, that's really interesting. Do I want it to be all like right? Oh, you know what? I want them to maybe be more in a circle. I don't... How did I make this... these tents? Um... Oh, before winter comes. Okay, we don't we don't have a lot of time to to waste. So let's just Can I hold shift to place? Yep, hold shift to place multiple buildings. I love it that this has become a very standard thing now. So we're just going to place 3 for now. I'm going to place them in a kind of semicircle around this camp. Okay, let's maybe place 4. I keep trying to rotate with um 
Q and E, but that just rotates the camera. There we go. I think that's nice. How do I get... Okay. Escape gives you to the menu. It doesn't cancel the thing. Cool. Um, clay pit. That's probably under production. Chicken coop. Clay pit. Is there uh, places where we can place it, or is it just anywhere? Because if it's anywhere, I mean, I guess we could put it on the other side. Just to live a little, I don't know. <laughs> um, let's just turn it that way. Cool! Is that just a pit that's done? It's Nobody needs to build it? Also, yeah, um, try to press escape to get rid of this, and it just gives you the menu. That is a thing that... Uh, I've also criticized about, uh, Dawn of Man. Just let me close menus with escape. It's the most convenient thing. Hire at least two workers at your forestry. Okay. Um. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. They have been hired. Cool. Uh, sorry. Sorry. That's gonna take some getting used to the escape thing. But it's fine. Oh, look. They're making the clay, they're bringing it here. Okay, so this thing in the in the basket is clay. It kind of looks like it could be some kind of bread, but it is clay. Oh, look, thatch. That's really cool. Do we see how much storage we have somewhere? I'm looking around. Oh, you can copy a building. Info overlays. World map. There's a world map. <gasps> Do we get to trade? Like, Impression Studio City Builder style? Like, Pharaoh style? I like that, if that's a thing. Also, I like the shape of this. Okay, so it isn't historically accurate. Uh, it is a sort of fantasy thing, but I guess it is inspired by um, Slavic or more specifically Ukrainian, like, you know, maybe architecture? Hmm. Setting? Okay, let's build some more houses. So we're building some here. Oh, I wish that I'd left enough space down here to make room. I'm kind of ruining everything. I don't like the way I've made it. We might just demolish everything in a later video. Um, but for now... I mean, I guess we can continue with the semicircle. Does that mean that it becomes impassable, though? Because I don't want them to not be able to move past it. Can they walk through here? I'm sure they can. I'm sure this is fine. Look, houses. Okay, family still in tents. Seven. How long is it until winter? Okay, it's still April. We're still good, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. And we've still got... Okay, so we need to still make three more houses. Should I continue it from here? Or should we make a new... We're going to make a new thing. Like this. Oh, damn it. And then we will continue it. Uneven terrain? Por qué? No! I want to build more here. Why don't you let me? Okay. Oh, I guess it is very uneven. Okay. Well, that house is just going to be lonely by itself. That's cool. Oh look, the tents are disappearing! That's really cool! Maybe we could then make it like the, this. Here. Can we make it here? Mmm, disable snapping, that's cool. Rotate building, blah blah blah, okay. Sure, this is fine. I like that the tents are disappearing. So, this is, this is actually something that I really like in, um in any game that does this, that like you have your initial thing and then your people kind of take it apart as they continue to build the base and then, you know, it's gone. Maybe there's just like a fireplace left of it. I think that's really cool. Or that like they would take apart the initial tents and then you could place buildings, but like the center would then grow, you know, as like the village center. I keep, sorry, I really should stop pressing escape when I try to dismiss a thing. Um, but yeah, cool, cool, very cool. Oh, look at that, and you get to see everyone that lives in that tent. Oh, that's really neat. I hope nobody minds that I'm, I'm having it sped up. I just want to see, you know, what happens when we build the houses and how everything else works. And I feel like 
This is a very chill city builder, and the first half hour would probably be really, really chill and slow, and I love that about them. But if you want to see a little bit more gameplay, a little bit more than just, you know, the first few houses being built, that's why I have it on max speed right now. But if I continue playing it, and I'm pretty sure I will, I probably won't be, you know, rushing through it in the future. I just figured first, first impression might want to see a bit more than just the first three houses being built. Build a thatchery to produce thatch for your houses. Okay. Production. Um, thatchery. But do we need to make something for the thatchery? Wait. Where is the thatchery? I am blind. Oh, are they? Nope, they're not alphabetical. So this is a, a desire that I have. I found a thatchery. Uh, please make them alphabetical. <laughs> or, like, make, make them in some kind of order? I don't know. I, I constantly keep losing them. And when I'm in single player, or, well... This is single player, but when I'm not recording games for this, I don't, um, I don't notice that I keep trying to find the buildings. Like, oh, where is, you know, where is the forestry? And it's right there and I'll just be looking like, where is it? But whenever I'm recording, I get really self-conscious about it. So that is a personal request. <laughs> Please make them alphabetical. <laughs> And that way I'll be able to find them more easily. Oh look, a hay... a hay barrack. Why isn't it just a hay rack? I guess... I guess a hay rack is a very specific thing. Hay racks! I don't know if I'm gonna edit this video, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to ping a picture in here, but hay racks are a very specific building that is Slavic, but I don't think it's a Ukrainian Slavic thing. We have them over here. But I don't know if they are uh, universally Slavic. But they are really cool. Can I prioritize this building? Or does it wait? Oh, look at that. That's really cool. So now they're going to prioritize this building. Oh, that is so neat. Did you see that? That is so neat. Okay. This, like, there's some things that are either I don't know what game they're taken um, inspiration from, like this little queue up top, or the developer has come up with some really cool and original ideas, and I like to think that it's the second, uh, because yeah, I think we don't really um, innovate a lot in city building games. I've said in the, ch not Children of the Nile, whoops, uh, what was it? The one, the one that's Builders of Egypt. I made a video on that, and I said that I think that it's really cool that they have basically taken the Impression Studio City Builder and they have kind of upgraded it and made it for 2020, and that's cool. But at the same time, I also think that a lot of the time we do tend to really go with very established things. And this queue here just seems like a, such a simple thing, and I'm already enjoying it, you know? Um, yeah, so just, just little things. Just little things like that. I think that's really cool. Okay, so I can assign people to the thatchery, right? Or do I have to assign them? I guess people don't assign themselves. I like that you can say if you want to hire men or women, you can, um, set a wage. Okay, this is really cool. I like it. It's giving me... And I know I've just said, like, oh, originality, blah, blah, blah. But at the same time, let's not have a cult of originality because uh, there are no original ideas ever. You know, people have said this. We always draw inspiration from other games. We always draw inspiration from, like, people who make music will always draw inspiration from other people who make music. And it's the same with games. So what I wanted to say, this is giving me, like, foundation meets tropico meets something fresh like i i really like it maybe i'm totally off with my assessment oh we're gonna need one more house hopefully one of these tents is gonna go away so we can build the house somewhere more appropriate otherwise we're just gonna stick it in the back or something i don't know come on vacate these premises oh yeah family's moving to a house excellent okay what am i gonna do here i've i've put this there so i can't Oh, well, I've, I've made my own bed, and I shall build in it. 
All right, cool. We'll just make it here. I think that'll look fine. It won't look strange at all. I think it will look strange when we, like, if the idea is to continue it, like, bloop and bloop, bloop, bloop. I don't think we're going to make it a full circle to here. So, I don't know. Meh. We'll see what it ends up being like. Well, we won't make it a full circle because this is here. So, actually, yeah. You know what I want to do? I want to just move it down a little bit and we'll just do it like this. Oh, it's the indecisiveness already. I hate it. Sorry. Pressing escape again. Maybe we need a well. Oh, no, we have a well. There's just one over here. We've made a well already. Camp center. Oh, is this just going to be here? Oh, I guess unless we build um a town hall and then the camp center will move. Okay, do we get another quest thing? Do we get another objective? That would be cool. Oh, I guess we don't. Um, oh look, we can make a platform to the water. All right, let's let's build that, I guess. And presumably we want food. Um Okay, let's try to start working on some food. Should we just make this farm face the other way? I don't know. Okay, yeah, we're gonna try some food. And what else do we want to build? There's so many buildings and, you know, I'm I'm not surprised that we don't have... Oh, probably a windmill. Oh, look at the windmill. It's circular. I like that. Where's my keys to rotate? Oh, this building can't be rotated. Oh, cool. Um... Windy mill. Where do you go? Just in the middle of the farm, like... Farm here, farm here, a windmill. A windmill by the river. Maybe a water mill would be more fitting next to the river. You're running out of nails, need to build smithy. Well, why didn't you tell me to build a smithy at the start? A lime kiln? What is a lime kiln? Okay, where is the smithy? Smithy. Smithy? Does anyone see the smithy? Okay. There it is. Mm. Where are we gonna put the smithy? We'll just put the smithy... there. Is there any desirability type situation? I don't think there is. Oh, look at that beautiful tree. I'm gonna make a beautiful tree over here, and over here, and over here, and over here. Oh, let's prioritize the smithy, right? Do, does the smithy need nails to exist? It does! We have to make sure that the smithy gets built first! Oh, I love this! This looks really cool, too. Do we get to see a little progress bar of this? Oh yeah, we do! Look at that! I love that. So it's got like little stages. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's see what else we need to build. Um, here's a question. Do things like chicken coop and pigsty need to have wheat from the farm? Because that's sometimes a thing in games and sometimes not. So I'm really interested whether that's a thing or not. Your smithy requires fuel to work. Build a charcoal pile. Okay. Okay, a charcoal pile. Presumably that's... Uh, we need some forest situation happening, so we'll just build it here. Bloop! Alright, excellent. I think I saw over the town hall it says, Unlock more ways to control your town, which I find intriguing. So I'm hoping to build that, and I'm hoping to build it, like... Mm, there? But let's wait for a bit, because we want to make sure that we don't starve first. So let's build the farm, 
and the windmill. Oh, we should probably also be assigning workers, huh? Do we have a um, thing that tells us how many people are uh, we're looking for jobs? We do. Excellent. Okay. No market, no housing available. Presumably, people won't move in if we don't have housing. Also, market. That's interesting to me. Where do we build the market? Trade and transport? We probably need one of these hay blues. We're going to build it here. And then also... Well, presumably we're going to need a granary. Uh, granary. Granary. Maybe the granary is going to be back here. You know, they'll deliver the food back here when it needs to go back here. Is that weird? Probably. I love that there's these, like, that there's cart parking. That's really neat, too. Um, let's see what else. Market stall. Yeah, so they, they were like, no market, right? So let's build a market. Oh, we could just squeeze it somewhere. Mm, well, we said we're going to build the town hall there. So maybe the market should be near the town hall. That's not too unusual, is it? I think markets go well with town halls. How many stalls do you think we need? Oh, look, it has different... Oh, if you press F1 and F2, you can customize it. That's pretty cool. Okay, but I still don't know how many we need. Uh, we'll just place the one for now. Oh, it's just built itself. Oh, look at that. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, do we need someone here? Okay, so charcoal pile just kind of works by itself. And then... Why is no one working here? Hire men, hire women. Oh, we can't hire women here. Are we out of men? We are out of men. Well, what a tragedy. Uh, can we hire women here? Okay. This is the thing. It's gotten cold. It's winter. We made it to winter. Oh, okay. Okay, so the farm, we can add a field to the farm. How do we add a field? Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, and we can rotate the entry. Oh, no. Can, can I edit it? Um, I can't edit it. Okay. Let's add field again. And I'll edit it. I'll add it a bit smarter. Okay, so this will be our first field. It's a very strange shape, but I'm into it. And we can farm... What's that? Nutrients! Oh, we need different nutrients? Okay, that's really cool. So, it looks like one farm can have multiple fields. But I don't know how big the fields can be for the one farm to be able to maintain them. So I just want to make sure that we have our different nutrients covered. So we're going to have wheat and buckwheat. So these will be good, good Slavic wheats. Um, can we, what's this? Well, it is winter, so I don't know. How do we, what does it mean if we activate it? Will they... Will they know what to do in which season, or do we... What happens? We've ordered a plow. Oh, I don't think we have a plow. Okay, cool. We don't... We we can't have a plow. Also, we are low with nails. We need to let this guy make nails. But at least now we know that, you know, we need a guy to make nails. Maybe in some of the places that can have men and women, we can just say that men aren't allowed. Yaroslav can go over there. That should be better, right? Cool. All right, let's make another building. Let's make another building so that maybe someone else can move in. But like, this is uneven terrain. And I've kind of run out of space. Can we add another one over here? Um, sure, we'll add one. We'll, we'll zoom it slightly further out. Back. There we go. This is fine. Okay, so I think we'll call it here for now. We definitely saw a lot of the game. I'm If it bothered you that I sped up through a lot of this, uh, then don't worry. I probably won't rush through it. I just wanted to like show as much as I can in the first 20 minutes. 
Um, and we probably went over time, so, you know. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna keep playing this game. So if you're interested, stick around. I'm gonna post probably one video per week of Ostriv. So if you're interested in that, just, just stick around. And next time I wanna learn about farming, what this nutrient business is, and the town hall stuff. I think maybe we won't get to do all of that in one video. We're gonna see how quickly this game progresses. You know, we were definitely on max speed at this entire video, so I definitely want to take a little bit more time to take in everything in the next video. So if you're interested, if you enjoyed this video, uh, feel free to do all the things that you do when you've enjoyed a video, and you can also check out the next one. And I also post other videos from city builders and management games Monday to Friday and sometimes also other days. So if you're interested in that, check it out. Check out some of the stuff that I'm popping up on screen. Right now I'm really enjoying a foundation let's play that I'm doing and I also just started a Dawn of Man let's play. So if you're interested in that, please check it out. Thank you. Other than that, I think all I can say is thank you for watching and have a nice rest of your day, week, month, or life. See ya!